we are brothers and sisters. In his encyclical, Fratel Tutti, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, reminds us of our noble call towards human fraternity. Human fraternity arises out of the respect we have to each other because we are all created in the image of God. Genesis verse 1, chapter 1, verse 27. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call for the unconditional release of many young people who are being held in various detention centers without being taken to court. In case they committed crimes, let those holding them follow the Constitution and take them to court to stand trial. Detaining, <laughs> torturing, denying them a fair hearing only breeds bitterness and anger and does, does serious damage to the cause of human fraternity. Let us come together and soberly consider the reasons behind the restlessness, the, grievous, the grievances of our young people and advance lasting solutions to the issues they are raising for the good of society. Brief of our Easter message as leaders of UJCC. On Good Friday, we delivered our Easter message as members of the Uganda Joint Christian Council, who include the Church of Uganda, the Uganda Orthodox Church, and the Catholic Church. I want to re-echo the highlights of our Easter message. We talked about the importance of Easter, and that is the resurrection of Christ, is the basis of our Christian faith. St. Paul states, if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. First little St. Paul Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14. That is to say, without the resurrection, Jesus would have remained forever a good person who has met a tragic death like many other charismatic and revolutionary leaders. However, as a matter of fact, Christ is risen from the dead, and so he is Lord. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. For those who have lost their beloved ones during the period of COVID-19 pandemic, and for our brothers and sisters in Tanzania for the loss of their former president, the late Joseph John Pombe Magufuli, in the same vein, we congratulate Her Excellency Samia Saluhu upon her installation as the sixth president of the United Republic of Tanzania. Peace and security, we also noted with concern that ungodly actions of some Ugandans who have been killing innocent people, for example, the case of a one Musa Musasizi, a resident of Mujomba Zone 6, who is suspected to have killed four women and, three, and a three-month-old child in a period of one month in the area of Naukrabie. We have also heard reports of mysterious killings in the Acholi region. We called upon all Ugandans and security forces to respect the sacredness of human life and the fundamental right to life. We should all remember that each one of us shall be judged by our work and our works and actions should be geared at building a beautiful Uganda and promote, promoting peace and justice at all levels. In conclusion, dear people of God, as I conclude, I invite you to maintain faith, hope, and love 
amidst the many challenges of life. I pray that in all situations of life, we as Christians may be good witnesses of Christ by living out the wisdom and the way of Jesus before a watching world. May the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Holy Uganda Martyrs intercede for us all that we may forge ahead with resilience, fortitude, and joy as an Easter people. And he sent that message. That is his message that was due to, to be presented today. Nayo mukama teyacha agadi. Tungiro musabira, omukama msasire amtuse mwa kabakavwe, buwabada kulirira imya kajino. Nafe atugumie, atukumire mkuvulie, sabire nyo isazali afe ili kampala mkade kanu, omukama atulunga mie ate atuyambe. Kasuna wakufundikira njaka lokuwa, wako ovo poyabate atulekete. Fratele tuti, let us strengthen our faith, hope and love by being good witnesses of Christ. Dear people of God, introduction. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, alleluia. This is our traditional Easter greeting in which we express our joy and faith in the risen Lord. The fifth article of our creed says, he descended into hell and on the third day he rose from the dead. Christ who suffered, died and was buried, is now risen. Death no longer has the last word. Evil is defeated. The tables are turned and Christ our light is the true victor in the fight against forces of darkness. The angel testifies as much. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Come, see the place where he was lying, as we find it in Matthew chapter 28, verse 6. Thus, with his faith, St. Paul is able to exclaim, and rightly so, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? First letter of St. Paul to Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 55. As Christians, we are an Easter people. Being an Easter people has three marks. These marks are brought out well in the theme of the Archdiocese of Kampala. Fratelli Tutti, let us deepen our faith, hope, and love by being good witnesses of Christ. As an Easter people, we are a people of faith, we are a people of hope, and we are a people of love. Fratelli Tutti, let us strengthen our faith, hope, and love by being good witnesses of Christ. My Easter message, he said, is centered on the four pillars of our Archdiocese theme, which are faith, hope, and love, and lastly, fratel tutti, brotherhood or sisterhood. We are a people of faith, hope, and love. In the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 13, as an Easter people, our life should be one that is grounded in unshakable faith. At times, we can be lost in a maze of things like Martha. Luke chapter 10, verse 40, 41, and forget that Mary has chosen the better part. Luke chapter 10, verse 42, to be at the feet of the Lord. As an Easter people, we are also a people of hope. Christian hope is grounded in the firm conviction that God is faithful and does not abandon his people. 
As we celebrate Easter, let us be people of love in our families, workplaces, and communities. Fratelli tutti.